What's up everybody, Joshua Fitzgerald here bringing you another What is this video about cherry shrimp? Let's dive right in. Cherry shrimp are native to China and Taiwan. They live in waters from 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or room temperature if you have them in a tank. The pH in your tank should be around 6.5 to 8. Cherry shrimp are sensitive to chlorine, ammonia, nitrates, and nitrite levels. So please make sure you're on your water changes. Also, adding plants will help neutralize all those deadly things in your water column. Tank size. One to two gallons is okay, but if you want a nice size colony um, and you want them to breed, 10 gallons and up works great. I use sponge filters in my tanks because they house good bacteria and they grow little food that the shrimp like to graze on. Also, they can't get sucked up into the filter. If you have a hang on the back or a canister, just make sure you put a little mesh or sponge on the intake so you, your shrimp don't get sucked up into them. Sexing them. Females are usually larger. They grow up to one and a half inches and also have a yellow saddle-like shape on their back. So you can tell that, you know, males won't have it. Um, also, the females might have eggs hanging underneath their tail that are yellow, so that's the way you can tell. Your shrimp do molt, so don't worry about the like whitish clear shells. They just molted because you're doing a great job feeding them and they're growing, um, so don't worry about that. Your cherry shrimp are scavengers, so they'll eat anything on the bottom or the top of your tank. Pellets, vegetables, meaty foods, de decaying plant matter, anything they can find. Life expectancy is about two years, one and a half usually, um, but two years is everything is up to par on pristine water levels. Tank mates, pleckles work great, snails, nanos, um, beta sometimes, smaller community fish that aren't really too aggressive and won't go after them or even sometimes super large fish that don't see them as a food source. How do you get your shrimp to look better? You can start off with high quality shrimp or when they start to breed, you can pull out the less vibrant, darker ones and then all the darker ones will breed and um, hopefully you know, pass down the darker trait. Extra tip. Cherry shrimp graze all day, so if you're wondering why they're dying or not breeding, it's because you don't have enough food in the tank. I feed big once a day, and it probably takes them a day or two days to eat up all the food. Then I continue that cycle. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.